Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's Fall Haul. We have got round two of all the fall seasonal items. I spent a fortune, but I just had to pick up everything. Like I was just walking down the aisles. I was like, ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. You're going in the cart. There's just so many fun items that I love around the fall time. And there's seven brand new items this week. So you're not going to want to miss the taste test video. We're going to add a few other items in that video as well. So it should be a really good one. Let's start off. Let's share with you what I got this week. So first up, all of the muffin mixes are back, including the pancake mixes. And they have regular versions as well as the gluten-free versions. So I did pick up the gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. I was gonna get the gluten-free pancake mix, but it did say that it may contain egg. So we avoid that. So we unfortunately did not get the pancake mix, but they do have that if you guys like that. They have the gluten-free version and the regular one as well. We are onto our first brand new item. We've got this savory squash pastry bites. These look really good. There's 12 bites in them and you can find these in the freezer section. Okay, so here's the nutrition pack. Serving size is four bites. We've got the ingredients and the cooking instructions and it does come with air fryer instructions, which is perfect. So we will definitely be putting these in the air fryer for the taste test video. I picked these up. These are the butternut squash mac and cheese bites. These were new, I believe, I think last year or the year before. I'm sure we tried them. I can't remember if we liked them or not, but they just looked really good. And I think this would pair actually really good with that sweet potato habanero sauce that we tried a couple of weeks ago. So that's why I purchased that because I just wanted to put this hot sauce on there and it looks really good. It comes with 10 pieces in here and you've got to get this every year. This is a staple. One of my, actually I think this is my favorite Trader Joe's mac and cheese. It's between this one and the French onion one. I think this one takes it though. This one is the butternut squash mac and cheese. So good. And this is another item that I think would be really good with that sweet potato habanero hot sauce. So in the freezer section, I only grabbed one. I might pick up another one next week, but yeah, one of my favorites. Uh, we just grabbed some broccoli over here. We're gonna have some veggies and some ranch on the side for some dip this weekend. The fall harvest salsa is back. My friend said that she likes this salsa, so I actually picked this one up for her. So this one has pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash in there. I, I'm sure I tried this, but I don't remember what it tasted like. So I'm actually kind of curious, but I'm gonna give this to her because I know that she likes it. We are gonna be doing some chili this weekend. I'm so excited, like the temps are cooling down. They have the cornbread back. So I'm like, it's time to make some chili. So I grabbed some of the kidney beans and then the great Northern beans. I don't think I've actually added these in my chili before, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I grabbed these. I needed some artichoke. So I grabbed the whole artichoke over here and then we needed some sliced olives. So these are the sliced black olives. The maple mini marshmallows are back. I believe these were new last year. These are gluten-free and vegan. And I actually found a recipe on the Trader Joe's website that you use this. You melt this with some butter, kind of like Rice Krispie cheese, but instead of using Rice Krispies, you use popcorn. So I am going to try that, although I forgot to get regular popcorn. I got distracted by this popcorn over here. Um, so I think next week I'll just grab the regular popcorn because I don't know, I could try it with the maple popcorn Corn, but I think that just will be too mapley. So I'm gonna make that with regular popcorn. But yeah, this is really good, really mapley. Their pumpkin is finally back in stock. I have been waiting weeks for this because I have been dying to make some homemade pumpkin creamer. So I grabbed two cans of the pumpkin and this is just regular old pumpkin. There's nothing else in the ingredients, just organic pumpkin. So I love to see that. Now, one of my favorite beauty products is back in stock. This was brand new last year. So this is the Honey Hydration Day and Night Cream Duo. So it comes with the day cream and then the night cream is down here on the bottom. I absolutely loved this. The night cream of the two is definitely my favorite. It's a little bit thicker and it just feels so nice and refreshing when you put it on right before bed. Um, and I. I ran out of this months ago. So I grabbed two of these. Hopefully two will last me all of next year. I might even grab a third one because I still have what, four months left of this year. So 
I may grab a third one because I was dying when I ran out of this. I wanted it back so much. So definitely excited to see this back in stock. We have got the organic maple butter back in stock. It looks like it's with new packaging and it looks smaller. I don't know why if it actually is or not, but this one is definitely smaller than like the pumpkin butter can. Um, but this is so good, we love it. And also this one is just organic maple syrup. That is it. This is perfect to put like on top of waffles. That's like our favorite way to use it. But we've got a brand new sauce over here. This is the hoisin sauce, which is great. It is vegan. And I typically have to go to like Kroger for this. So I'm glad that Trader Joe's is finally getting like all these staples. They came out with another sauce a couple of weeks ago. Oh, the ponzu, which is another one that I had to get at um, Kroger. So I'm happy that Trader Joe's is finally carrying these. So I don't have to go to another store which is great so I won't be trying this in the taste test just because I don't know I don't think it will be good on its own I usually add this to make my sauces for like chicken stir fry and stuff like that but I am glad that they finally have it here's the nutrition facts and ingredients on here I bet you these ones are cleaner than the Kroger ones I've been getting as well I'll have to compare the two but there we go. Here is the buttermilk ranch dressing that I grabbed to dip the veggies in. The non-dairy oat maple beverage is back in stock. This is my favorite. I'm going to be adding this to my coffee. Um, we love this one, so we grab that. My favorite Hold the Cones flavor is back in stock. I actually do not purchase any of the other flavors. This is the only one that I do purchase, and oh, it's my favorite. The pumpkin ginger ones are back in stock. It comes with eight mini cones in here. It's just a nice little treat in the afternoons, and I love that they're just like a mini little cone. They are so good. I love the coating on the outside. Oh, cannot be be. I may have to get another box of this next week because these ones go fast, so I probably should have grabbed two. Too, but I was spending too much money as is, so I had to limit myself. Now, I, I actually ate all of the squiggly knife cut noodles. Um, I think I finished it this week because it's been cooler, so I've been eating soup, and I love this one. Much better than the original one. It comes with four packs in here, and I have been like adding stuff to it. I only actually use one um, pack. It comes with two seasoning packs in here. I use one of them, and then I add chili onion crunch to it, as well as some sriracha, and it's like really spicy, and I love it. So I've been eating that. I had to grab another pack of that. The fall leaves corn tortilla chips are back. These are so cute. We love them, so we grab them every year. My second favorite popcorn that Trader Joe's carries is back in stock. We love this one. The maple and sea salt kettle popcorn. So great. This one is also gluten-free, so you know that's a plus for us. I had to stock back up on the crunchy chili onion seasoning. I have been using this in lots of stuff, mostly my eggs though, and we love it. So I wanted to grab another bottle of that. Here is the salsa. Um, we tried this, I think last month, and we really loved it. So we grabbed this salsa to go with the chips. Since I'm gonna be giving away the fall harvest salsa, we just grabbed this one for us, but I'm kind of regretting not getting this because I wanna try it. Um, but yeah, this would also go perfectly with the fall leaves chips if you guys wanna do that. Here's some carrots to go with those chips and veggie, and then we are on to our next new item. We've got the chicken uncured bacon ranch dip. This one is with white chicken meat, shredded sharp cheddar cheese, uncured bacon, and ranch seasoning. The guy at the checkout said that they tried this in store and he loved it, so he went home, bought two of them, and he said it was so good. He said what he did actually was add this into a croissant and make it into a sandwich, which is pretty good. I wouldn't even have thought to do that, um, but the instructions do suggest warming it up, so I definitely think we will try it warmed up um, for the taste test. I personally just think all the dips are better warmed up. Maybe we'll try it cold and then we'll warm up a little bit and let you guys know which way we prefer. But I definitely think this would be good in a croissant. I think he was onto something. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients are right here. We grabbed this last week and Tristan loved it. I told you guys, he loves these. Even Lakeland had some too. They're vegan and gluten-free, the pumpkin O's, and he requested another box. These usually sell out pretty quick as well. So I wanted to grab him another box before they do. This is something that we also buy every year. It's just really cute, the Harvest Chocolate Collection. 
Look at all of those shapes. It's so cute. It's white milk and dark chocolate, and they've just got like all these full shapes. I have been so excited for this next new item. These are the sweet, tart, salty, and spicy chili seasoned dried mango. It's made with organic Kent mango. This sounds totally up my alley. One of the items that I'm most excited to try this week. Okay, ooh, serving size is seven pieces. Those are the nutrition facts. Let's check out the ingredients. Not bad, actually. I mean, there's some sugar chili seasoning, um, but yeah, that's it. There's no like natural flavor or anything, which is perfect, especially with dried fruit. Natural flavor does not need to be in there, so I'm excited for that one. Like I said, the cornbread mix is back, and this gluten-free cornbread is our absolute favorite. Like I hate like when Trader Joe's does not carry this, and I have to go to like Kroger or something, because this one is just my favorite. There's actual like real pieces of corn in there, and yeah, we love it. So definitely had to pick that up, and we're gonna have some chili with that this week. This is finally in my stores. This is the pumpkin spiced flavor cold brew coffee concentrate. You know, me and Brent are absolutely gonna love. Of this. I'm thinking about trying it with a maple oat milk in the taste test, at least for mine. Brent will probably just take his black, but I want to add some of this maple milk into it because I think that would be really good. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts. Whoa, it is hard to see. Those are the ingredients, but oh, there is natural flavor at the end. Darn it. I was thinking that it wasn't. Oh, well. And then here are the instructions. This is a concentrate, so you do wanna either mix it with, says either with milk or with water, one part coffee to two parts milk or water. So I think I'll do one part coffee me and then two parts this maple uh, milk for how I try it in the taste test. Excited for that. Over here we grab the maple spiced nut mix. So this one comes with maple, rosemary, almonds, pecans, and red and black pepper, sweetened dried cranberries, and pepitas. Now I do not think we have ever tried this, so we are definitely gonna try this in the taste test. I am excited for this. This one's definitely not new, but in case you guys are curious, those are the ingredients and the nutrition facts. We've got some new crackers. These are the wheat crisp crackers. So I'm guessing kind of just like a wheat thin. Nothing fancy, but you definitely can't go wrong with a wheat thin. So we will definitely be trying these in the taste test. We'll probably pair that with the chicken bacon ranch dip. Here's the nutrition facts. And the ingredients does contain sesame and wheat. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we are ending on another new item. We've got the organic coconut crunchy clusters. So this one is with pumpkin, sunflower, and chia seeds. This looks really good. It comes in a resealable pouch too, which I prefer. Here's the nutrition facts. And then let's check out these ingredients. That is really clean, coconut. Um, organic cane sugar, rice syrup, okay, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds, that is it. So only contains coconut, yes. That looks like a nice little snack. Okay, so that is everything that we got this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in this fun fall festive taste test out tomorrow. We'll see you then, bye.